Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play World Warcraft Part 46, I do believe. Uh, so remember the last episode when I told you that I don't believe enemies can spawn here? Guess what just happened right now? The enemies down there respawned in all of their glory and proceeded to beat the crap out of me one by one. So, normally, I was shocked that I was wrong at WoW, but, and again, I'm always wrong at WoW, so what does it matter? I don't even know if what I just said made sense. Probably didn't, but it'll probably make sense in the video somehow. Um, how do I activate this skill? Uh, that's five. Okay. Uh, you dead. Then I go to you. Then I victory rush you. And if all goes according to plan, I will have this quest completed by the next episode, or by the end of this episode. Uh, whether or not if it if I get to turn it in is a completely different thing, because that involves me getting out of the cave, doing all sorts of stuff, but that all depends on if the enemies are actually respawned by the time I get out. And looking at what just happened a couple minutes ago, it's pretty obvious that they probably will be spawned. So, uh, last episode, I was um, I was doing the first two guys on the list that I have to kill, or execute, take out, whatever, pick your poison. Uh, essentially, kill. Um, oh god, I got the. See, the thing about this, to keep myself alive, it, it it just has to do with victory rush, like, I have to get it down, and if I don't, I'm essentially losing health, like, I'm trading off, like, about 20% health to get 20% health back, so, I'm essentially just gambling, um, with my health, because I essentially lose about 20% per enemy and more if I pull more than what I was expecting to. So, hopefully I will, I usually get like maybe a percent back if anything. So, hopefully I will get it all back. Uh, don't want to kill her or him yet. Uh, for that, I do believe I'm going to have to have my health up to the most, the highest possible, which, uh, can you, can this guy die? Oh, I, I screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. Oh, this thing gave me, oh, 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 this is my chance, this is my chance, this is my chance. I am so sorry for taking your... Your thunder right here, um, stress the seeker, star S the seeker. That didn't count. That didn't count for me. That really didn't count. Oh, what is he? Uh, I assume Shadow Priest. Yeah, Shadow Priest. Uh, he was doing a, actually a lot of damage for. Uh, well, then again, Shadow Priests are mostly single target damage from what I've heard. Uh, but at least this person's gonna take care of all the enemies for me. Hopefully, if I'm lucky. So, now I just have to wait here until this, this boss decides to respawn again, I guess. And I don't know the spawn times on, on, um, the bosses, so... I may or may not do a jump cut here, most likely yes, but if the boss happens to respawn by the time I finish this sentence, then I will not do a jump cut at this current moment in time, which is 2.26 in the afternoon on Labor Day, the day of the laborer. Nothing? Ugh, alright. Uh, guess I'll be back, guys, in a little while when... Oh, never mind. Uh, she respawned, or it respawned, whatever. I don't care what it is. I just know I have to kill it, and it is my duty, and I will get experience from that. And that'll make me feel good, and then level up. So, uh, 
Hopefully this one doesn't. Oh god, what what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Did that do anything to me? I don't think it did anything to me. I think she's just doing basic attack damage right now. Can you expect? Oh, you can't. I was about to say, can you inspect the the bosses? Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, this is gonna be the last one, and from the looks of it, our uncanny friend over there, our shadow priest, killed everything here. Dude, you are a lifesaver right now. And I'm recording, right? Yeah, I am recording, so... Everyone's gonna see this, and hopefully... Oh, I, I have to take this before he does. I have to take this. 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 I am so sorry, but I am gonna have to do this before you in the interest of time for this, so... Is he gonna help me? Hopefully you will. Oh, sweet! Oh, uh, now is he gonna take my kill? Yeah, he did. Or no, he didn't. Uh, T.Y. Thank you. Sweet. So, now we just have to make it out of here. And hopefully we get on our merry way back up to the surface because I missed the surface and we're gonna oh he spawned uh, that's not gonna be a good thing so with that we I do believe we're gonna have enough time to actually turn in this quest we won't level up from it because I think between these quests I get only 5,000 exp and we need about uh, 14 uh, 14,000 give or take to level up again, so I don't see us leveling up from that. Or I can do some other quests and then just turn them in in bulk. How do I get out of here? Okay, that way is the way to the other guys, so I do, I think I do go this way. And hopefully the spies or whatever, the hunters aren't respawned. Oh, yeah they are. Oh, I hate these guys. Then again, they are below my level, so they're sort of easy to kill. And they should give me no problem whatsoever. So, stun you. And I usually don't... Well, where was I even going with that? I have a lot of random thoughts that I don't... I just, like, start speaking. But I don't really have anywhere that the... Comp, that the thought is going like I don't know what I was about to say right now but it was that conversation was literally or that um topic was literally going to go nowhere so my voice is getting a little dried up though or dry I guess my mouth is getting dry my voice is getting dry I don't know what it, how you call it but it's definitely I definitely need to drink some water because talking for about I've been talking for about 40 minutes straight right now if you count the previous episode I made because this is one big recording session. Um, if you count that, I've been talking for about 40 minutes straight without stopping and that actually gives you quite the headache after a while. It's really... I don't know. I, I want to say I'll get used to it, but I think it's just the, the water aspect. I usually drink a lot of water and my commentary has really fallen down the drain since the first episode because now I'm talking about my water habits. But... Essentially what I tell all my friends whenever I drink water is that I consume water at the rate an SUV consumes gas or a Hummer consumes gas. I need a lot of water to keep me afloat, but that amount of water doesn't really keep me going for a long time. So, ow, my my butt's starting to hurt on the couch. But, yeah, it's kind of sad, but it's also kind of... Have a good one funny in some sense but I do consume a lot of water and you should also drink a lot of water oh uh, I mean uh, I don't really need any of this um, well I could use the second ring so uh, for now I guess just use it I mean I'm not using it for anything else uh, need, need a quest from See you, you God. I I think I said like um a couple episodes ago that Stranglethorn Vale is one of the most um 
Um, how do I? S what level is Shrivelborn Bale for anyway? Uh, Northern. Oh God, there's a lot of Shrivelborn. Um, and I said that Shrivelborn Vale is one of the most um. I wouldn't say biggest, but um. Uh, j j j j j j j it's definitely a sizable amount of quests in this area, and the bad part about it is that they're not, they're all spread out, like, a lot, so it's kind of, um, annoying, but this is also the area where, like I said in a couple episodes ago, where I actually learned how to play WoW, like the mechanics, and I just wasn't needlessly, like, hitting things with a stick, so yeah. And also, after this area, I'm not sure, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, Stranglethorn. Uh, the Cape of Stranglethorn, that area, that general area, that is one of my, um, favorite areas that I leveled up in on my other account, on my, um, Rogue, I should say. Um, it is one of my favorite areas, but I've only, I've only done the story there once, and that, I've done all the story quests for that zone, I've, like, maxed out that zone, like, there's really nothing left to do there if I were to go on my rogue, and it is one of my favorite areas, but I don't feel like spoiling it for you why it is. It's not even that interesting. Most people may find it, like, as a stereotypical area, like, you get your quest and stuff like that. But I actually really enjoyed it for whatever reason, so sue me, yeah. It's one of my favorite areas and hopefully I'll be able to explain why. And I'm, I actually forgot about, the, I forgot about it that I had to go through it. But this is, uh, I guess, a teaser trailer for the coming attractions that are coming in like, I don't know, 20 episodes, uh, 15 maybe. I don't know, it depends how long I keep these running uh what exactly is a tiki fetish or a takashi fetish i do i think those are the poles or something they have lying around or hanging around i don't know i am playing a troll though i made a troll mage it's only like level five or something so i'm moving very slow on it so i think a fetish is one of the other things over there uh, I think as soon as I find one, I'm gonna cut this episode off just so we have, um, a general idea of what we're looking for, I guess. So, then again, mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it off. And it's probably inside that big building with, uh, with or that big, um, hut, I should say, with all the enemies in it, because there's none around the edge. Or maybe there is, I don't know. Uh, there's a guy over there. Oh, he's level 34. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. This is for low level newbies like myself. Okay, uh, punch you. And I'm not sure if you can see that steam is open. I don't believe you can because I'm only recording WoW right now. Or my recording program is only recording WoW. So. Where do I find this? What is this? Someone's your last How can I be used? Okay. What does this do? Do I follow it? Uh. I I don't know what you want me to. Do I just follow this thing? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to follow this thing. Let's see if I get if I get two, then I then I yeah, there it is. Uh, I guess I can do this right now. Maybe extend this episode a little bit longer because if I stop right here, the quest is probably going to bug out and just be more difficult to do. So, uh, let's get all the Takashi Takashi things. Do you have another one? Do you? Okay, it had another one. I, I, I didn't even see that you could um summon the Lashtail Raptor. 
And I'm not really sure if you actually get this as a mount or maybe or something because I still have it on my other account on my rogue that um and it's still in my inventory but it doesn't let me sell it so I think I missed like a quest somewhere in this area so uh, I could I probably could have used it as something or maybe I just have it as a pet now from now on I need a oh uh, come on man come on man come on come on come on come on what are you looking for come on you can do it you only got one more good to go after this Come on. You're going to give it to me? All right. One more, buddy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, no, you can't because this thing's going to attack you. Uh, is it actually going to look for it? Oh, there it is. And is it still going to look for them? Or is it just going to be annoying? Okay, okay. You, you, can, you can stop now. You can stop now. Around the outside. All right. So now is the end of the episode, I believe. Unless this thing has something else to spit at me. Uh, can I dismiss it? Cannot carry any more of those. I it won't let me carry anymore. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not leave it a like rating? And if you want to keep up with this series, why not subscribe today? It is not necessary, but it was very much. It is very much appreciated. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.